the same part of the racetrack. Peak trying to get past the car lane. Is he going to try it into the second Lesbo? Is he going to know he's there? Oh! oh! Huge crash! An enormous accident for Peak and Kana Massas, who rolls dramatically. More time. Peak down the inside. He's definitely got enough of a claim to the corner. But on that inside line, losing the rear. And quick clean up. There's obviously, they're very happy with the car, aren't they? They're not doing the other work. Oh, big, big accident. The doctors yeah. uh, supervised he's getting him out talking, of the car. Talking to the marshals, and uh, but look at the wreckage of that car. It's either going to be the number five car, or is this a replay? This looks see? like it's a replay. Yep. It is the five car. It is Stefan Ortelli at the wheel. The car just snapped sideways, and then the hit, did it hit the back of the Audi? It hit the Audi. No, no, just just missed the Audi, hit the kerbs, and off it goes, cartwheeling across the track. Well, that is a huge accident, Chris. Yes. And the moment we suddenly saw the car coming into view. Questo passaggio, quindi riuscito a scavalcare Brajni, che c'è una bruttissima, bruttissimo contatto con. I think we now can show you what happened to Alex Peroni. Oh my goodness me. That is a horrific sight. Very serious crash. Dr. Ian Roberts with him there. Right at the front of this queue, there must be a dozen cars here, all slipstreaming each other and then fanning out into every braking area. Oh, who's that? Well, it's not a Fortec car, that's Dominic Mermans, the Dutch driver for the Swiss racing team. And let's have a replay of that moment in the green car. Airborne inside him was Ricardo Texera, one of the British runners, and you can only conclude they touched wheels, but uh, Mermans is upside down, keep your hands in. <laughs> oh, he looked like he was going to try and stop the car from... Number 11 car of Fabian Schiller, which has made uh, very good progress from 15th on the grid and a huge, huge crash there. Barrel rolling over, that's absolutely massive and it's Lance Stroll. Finalement, eh bien, reprend sa position à une seconde. Oh là là, derrière, il y a eu un énorme crash, énorme crash. Il y a une qui est parti en tonneau. Ah oui, il y a eu, il y a eu, oh là 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 là. Crash énorme pour Mans Grenagen. Il y a trois monoplaces qui sont appliquées. Mister of Weidler and Sala. Now right at the back of the field. Problem for Dalmas. Dalmas in the lead. Oh, Dalmas with terrible problems. The car on its roof. I mean, look, did something fail? Or is he just lost yeah, the car? No, I think he's just so lost, lost the car, but it's that But look at the way that it exploded. The curb oh, has just yeah. ripped the floor off the car, ripped the door off the car. I've said it a million times. I don't like those curbs of this track. I've seen it happen in the first chicane and this very chicane as well. You get a car, go usually they're going forwards when they go over those, and the car gets launched. Run through those blocks. Let's have a look at it. Whoa, airborne. Goodness me. That was a lot heavier than we thought. Stupid mistake, self-inflicted, I'm afraid. Dear, oh dear. Well, you've just been speaking about his problems a little bit earlier. And uh, dear, oh dear, he was, well, he was lucky to get away with uh, not mm. hurting himself or somebody else. Yeah, yeah, he was. That was, that was that his decision to pack it all in, indoors by that. Goodness me, look how uh, juicy that was. Yeah, he yeah, ruptured a fuel line by the look of it. Okay, fin du premier tour, sous le commandement, donc... Euh, de Caroli, Amer Müller, Müller en troisième position oh, avec derrière un énorme accrochage et une voiture qui est partie en tonneau. Et évidemment, est très spectaculaire, mais voilà ce contact avec ce contact avec le mur là pour euh, Lopez a également par un tête à queue en fait. Et ensuite il y a il y a un accrochage. Donc ce serait Chris Bauer qui euh, Today with uh, only one use. Whoa, Whoa, big, big shot, but that oh, could be a safety dearly. car. Now that looks like a mechanical failure under braking. That's a big, big impact. The McLaren suddenly speared off the road and took the Bentley. Yeah. In etwa so bleiben. So, jetzt nochmal die Wiederholung. Da kommt der angeflogen, überschlägt sich im hohen Bogen über die 
Gegner war ein Auto aus der Scuderia Farmer dabei. Das müssen wir drivers and that was a big big smash there running over the back of another car for Seti Kamara Oof, and that was pretty nasty he almost flipped over his own debris as well had a terrible weekend so far by his very high standards can he get through oh, goodness me there's another car up in the air there it's one of the Tagonia Iam cars from the middle of the pack which has flown up in the air it's number one so don't count him out just yet there is a better view of the Beretta incident, and that again was contact with wheels. Oh, he actually rolled over. Now, we didn't see that from the other angle. We just saw the car, what ended up in the barriers. We didn't see how he got to the barriers, and he certainly didn't see that. Seconda posizione potrebbe essere Ivan Tramontozzi, poi c'è subito un contatto. E una botta pesantissima contro le barriere. Minet, qui est en sixième position, avec encore une fois, et un nouveau tête, un nouveau tonneau. Deux tonneaux dans la même course pour Ryan Cullen, l'Irlandais. Racing Lamborghini Huracan. Oh, and we've had a crash at the end of the race, and we've got a bit of fire at the back of one of the cars as well. And very, very hard into what looks like the end of the pit, and an absolutely enormous damage to the front of that car.